Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me today and welcome to today's practice which is yoga for weight loss and I always struggle a little bit that people think that you know because usually with weight loss you're leaping around that sort of thing burning calories. Um, yoga has a more subtle way I believe of helping um, with weight management, let's call it that rather than weight loss, um, because it supports your weight loss journey, not just by burning calories, but by reducing stress and balancing your body. Also by calming the mind and lowering cortisol levels, it's easier to manage your weight and make healthier choices. So this flow will strengthen your body, it will regulate your appetite, and it will promote your overall well-being. So, Let's get started. So we will begin in tall mountain. So with the feet hip width apart, we're going to inhale the arms straight up, exhale them down, inhale them up, exhale them down. Remember to breathe in and out through your nose. Inhale them up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Keep them up there. Exhale over to the side. So a side bend. Remember not to hold your breath. Just hold. Keep breathing. Inhale up. Exhale down the other side. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, and now we're just going to bring the arms down, exhale, so just use your breath, exhale, really warming up the body here. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and now we're going to do singles, inhale, and just breathing as you lift one and the other, like a windmill, <laughs> kind of, well I call it windmill arms, just literally warming up the body, warming up the arms and the shoulders. Take both arms up and take them behind so then they're like windmill arms. <coughs> Excuse me. That's it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're coming back the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just roll your shoulders, just relax your arms for a moment. We're going to take those feet a little wider. We're going to do some what I call swing twists now. So we're going to take that right arm. So the left arm comes across the body, right arm behind, and we're just going to go back and forth. Remember not to hold your breath, just breathe. One more set. And back to the front. Okay, we're going to do a wide angled side stretch now. So hold your waist with your hands and then lift the left arm up and reach over. We're just going to hold that, so don't hold your breath, keep breathing. And 
And coming up, bring that hand down, inhale the other one up, and exhale over and hold. Keep that shoulder rolled back so that your chest is open. And one more set, inhale, and over. And inhale, other side, exhale. Inhale. Okay, take both hands out and we're gonna lean forward. So just look down here, stretching those arms out. You can bring those toes in a little more so that you've got a firm base here. So you're lengthening through the spine. You can feel the stretch of the back of the legs. And we're gonna bring that left hand down to our right foot and the right arm comes up. Keep breathing, so really reaching up as much as you can. And coming down, other side, left hand up. And coming down, lift up nice and gently, inhale all the way back up. Bring the arms down and we're going to turn and take the feet out to the sides. We're going to come into a squat, so standing up nice and straight, straight back is what I'm trying to say. Knees over the ankles, inhale those hands up again. So again, this is really reaching up nice and tall. We're gonna inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. And again. Keep going with the breath. One more time. And exhale. Okay. Place your right forearm on your thigh and your left arm alongside your ear. So again, we're getting a squat with a side bend. We're gonna hold this pose. Coming back to the other side, inhale the arm up, exhale over, and coming back one more time, left arm over, use your breath, don't hold your breath, dynamic poses, <laughs> inhale back, other side, are you working up a sweat yet, <laughs> and back. Okay, come out of your squat. Inhale up. Big stretch here. Exhale down. Okay, we're going to do some, bring the toes forward. We're going to do some hip circles. So just move in those hips. And back the other way. Okay, we are now going into a warrior sequence. So we're going to do this side first of all. So we're going to turn out that right foot and bring the right knee over the ankle and come into your warrior two. So really stretch those arms. Take a nice big breath in. Stretching those arms. That's it. Okay. Big breath in. Exhale into reverse warrior. So the back hand comes down, front hand up. So reaching up nice and tall. Remember not to hold your breath. That's it, keep breathing. Inhale back. So back to your warrior two. And we're gonna straighten that leg. We're gonna come into a triangle. So we're gonna reach over that right leg. Let the hand come down, come up that left hand. Again, keeping that chest open. Keep breathing. And then bring that left arm alongside your ear and bring it down 
and turn into pyramid. So folding down. That's it. Put the stretch at the back of that leg. And then we can, from here we're going to come into our warrior one. So bring that right knee over the ankle and the back heel is down, the foot's at 45 degrees and come up into your warrior one. So reaching up nice and tall, remember not to hold your breath. And then coming back into your warrior two, we're gonna go into extended side angle, bring that right hand down, next to your right foot, left hand up. That's it, big, big breath here. And slowly coming back up. We're gonna do it all on the other side. So lower your hands, bring that foot to face the front, turn the left foot out. Left knee over the ankle, back little toes pressing into the mat, stretch those arms. So again, into warrior two. So big breath in. Reverse warrior, back hand slides down, left hand up. That's it. Keep breathing. Lovely. Inhale back. Back to your warrior two. Okay, into triangle, straighten that front leg. Shift the body over that left leg. Let that hand slide down to wherever's good for you. Reaching up. Whew, I'm sweating. <laughs> Keep going. Keep breathing. That's the most important thing. Okay, it's a very muggy day here to add to things. So inhale back. Okay, we're going to bring... Um, oh, I forgot. <laughs> I'm going to bring, I forgot to bring that right hand over, sorry, and then bring it down for our pyramid on this side. Apologies. So we're going to go into pyramid, fold down, straighten that left leg, and that back heel's at 45 degrees. That's it. And then from here, we're going to go into our warrior one. So you can bring that foot in a little bit more if you wish, and come up. Inhale those hands up. For warrior one, reaching up nice and tall, not holding your breath. And down, we're going to come back into our warrior two, because we're going to finish with our extended side angle. We're going to take that left hand down next to our left foot, shoulder against the knee, right arm up. That's it. And inhale back, back into your warrior two, lower your hands, walk your feet back, come back to feet, hip width apart. And we're just going to finish with a few nice deep breaths. So inhale your hands up and exhale them down. And again, inhale up. Exhale down. One more time, inhale up. Palms together, exhale through the mouth. Bring in your hands down. And namaste. And that's our practice for today. I did forget to um, do the affirmation at the beginning, which is, I nurture my body with calm and balance, allowing it to find its perfect weight naturally. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you did, don't forget to share it with your with people that you think would also enjoy it. Um, I don't want to get into one of my waffly things, but as I said to you at the beginning, I'm I believe in yoga with weight loss as a as a progressive natural thing I don't think it's not like one of these gym workouts it's something that happens over time and so gradually that you, you don't really notice it most of all for me and I have to speak personally is the appetite regulation I find I don't get as hungry I don't want to eat big meals so that in itself is, is a great help but um 
you've heard my story don't forget to share yours underneath I'd love to hear what you think and you know if you do this for a few months let me know what results you get that sort of thing and and share it with everybody else share it with the community anyway I'm gonna stop talking now and wish you a a very very happy day and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed that Thank you very much for watching and subscribing and liking and and, uh, and sharing my videos and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.